Hey class, session two of the week. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our warm-up exercises. Um, just a few reminders. We wanna be present, right? So mind and body, we're connected here today with each other, no distractions, turn off anything that's gonna distract you and uh, make sure you have your place for you and me. Um, and then just really, focusing on centering and breathing today, okay? So uh, read over um, all of your uh, feedback and uh, your assessments and um, this being the second session of the week, just remember uh, to make sure that you're um, reminding yourself to take it slow and you have two more sessions this week and let's go ahead and get started. All right, breathing with our chest expansion. Remember that we are warming up um, with our breathing, but we're warming up also our, warming up our spine and our lumbar area. So when we are scooping, uh, we are practicing um, rounding the back and tilting the hips forward, the pelvis forward, and rounding the shoulders forward, okay? So let's go ahead and exhale on the expansion. Inhale on the close. So while you're practicing this chest expansion, I want you to notice how your spine feels with the movement. Connect your mind to the movement. What's happening here, right? that lumbar area. Good. Okay, let's go ahead and come on down for dynamic. So hips come down and we're just going to pull hips back. Let's exhale here. Inhale on the way back. One more. Good. Bring your hands in closer for cat and cow. So again, we are practicing tilting that pelvis forward for our cat and tilting the pelvis back for cow. So here we go. Let's inhale on cat. Exhale on cow. Everything is slowed down, methodical, paced consistently, especially with the breathing. One more. All right, come to a seated position for our leg circles today, warming up um, our hip, top of our thigh there. So slight lean back, gonna go ahead and lift this leg here, and we're just rotating the entire leg, keeping that leg bent. Just warming up that region. And reverse. And switch legs up and circle. And reverse. Good. All right. We're going to come on down for our hundreds. So remember, we're coming back to our back. So go ahead and bring your knees with you. Practice the scooping, rounding, low back makes contact, and then middle back, okay? 
Keeping the legs bent, go ahead and bring your arms out, palms facing down, chin to chest, scooping, and begin your pumping of your arms. Five and five. Five inhale. Five exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So you're going to keep count on your fingers or in your head. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and begin our session. So we're doing this two times through. The first time through, we're just going to practice each exercise one at a time. Um, these first three to four weeks, really, I am introducing new exercises, okay? And so um, some of them are traditional and some of them are modified, like I've talked to you about before. However, uh, the first time through, if we are introducing, if I am introducing a new exercise, I want to take some more time, okay, to introduce this one. So even if it's a different version. A uh, single leg. So we're going to practice traditional single leg. And this is back to that Fab Five, right? Um, how we assessed for our Fab Five. So we're going to practice that today. So go ahead and bring your head and shoulders up, your knees in. We're pressing that low back down into the mat. That is our scooping actively engaging those abdominal muscles and pressing them down in and holding them there while we breathe and move. So single leg stretch. We pull one knee in, we extend the other leg out. We slowly transition, gentle pull on that bent knee in. Consistent breathing. Keep the neckline in a neutral position, so we're looking down at our belly button. Last one. And knees in, feet down, and head down. Good. Okay. Uh, a little bit of a modified double leg. We're not going to do a full arm sweep like we did in our Fab Five. We're just going to do a sweep out to the side and back. So go ahead and bring your knees in, head and shoulders up. We're going to reach back as we extend our legs out and reach back to the knees, okay? So arms come out to the sides. Here we go, chin to chest, double leg, side arm sweep. Exhale, inhale, exhale, Inhale. One more. Feet down, head down. Good. Okay, so we're going to bridge here for a little while. So go ahead and bring your arms down at your sides. So hips are going to come up and we're going to actually synchronize our arms. So we're going to synchronize an arm sweep. And the arms are going to sweep out to the side and back. So we're really just imitating or uh, repeating what we just did with our double leg stretch, except with our bridge. So arms start at our sides. We're going to lift our hips up at the same time. We sweep our arms up, walking at the top. We're going to sweep the arms down and lower the hips, okay? So I'm gonna move this way, it's kind of like wall. All right, here we go. We're gonna exhale, lift, and sweep. 
lower and sweep down. Inhale at the bottom, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, and we'll go one more time. Bridge, ready? Up and down. Nice. Okay, next is our crisscross. So we are practicing traditional crisscross. So go ahead and bring your knees in, head and shoulders up, hands behind the neck, scooping, chin to chest, keeping those shoulder blades off the mat. Legs do the work as single leg. I'm rotating towards this bent knee. My trunk, we are only rotating back and forth. I do not lower and lift. I'm rotating. Switching the legs side to side. Scooping. Breathing. Keep the rear on the mat. Press that low back down into the mat. We're scooping. We should be in this held position the entire movement, right? One more. And head down and feet down. Nice. Okay, so we're going to go into what's called single straight. And we're practicing one leg at a time today. Okay, so I don't think we did single straight last time. So one leg at a, at a time for single straight, which simply means that we're going to keep one foot down on the ground. So I'm going to keep one foot bent and grounded. I'm going to go ahead and lift the other leg up. I'm going to lift my head and my shoulders up. And I'm going to bring my hands behind this extended leg here. Now, pressing my low back down into the mat, staying engaged here and scooped. I'm going to let this leg drop and then gently pull it in, keeping my rear on the mat, single straight leg, one leg at a time, breathing, controlled movement, one more. Bring that head down, that leg down, switch legs. Here we go, lift up, scoop, gentle pull, and drop. Feel the stretch through the back of the leg. Chin to chest. One more. And rest. Nice. All right, double straight. We're going to go ahead and practice our traditional double straight. Okay? Both legs are all the way up. Head and shoulders up. Hands behind the neck. And we're going to lower both legs, staying connected. Slowly lower and slowly lift, just like the Fab Five. Stay scooped. Exhale here. Inhale at the top. Lower. Inhale. Down. Up. One more. Down. And good. Feet down. Head down. Go ahead and extend the legs a little bit, keeping those heels on the mat. Arms at our sides. Roll up holds. All right. So again, head and shoulders first. Scooping second. Hips. Pelvic floor muscles. Third. All right. Here we go. Exhaling as we lift. Ready? Up. And down. Up. Good. 
down. Down. Let's go one more. Up. And down. Go ahead and roll to your side. Push yourselves up. Let's go up to roll down the holes. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Collapse the spine. Let go of the knees. And come back and hold. Hand up. So remember, it's like I am <clears throat> directing my low back down to the mat before anything happens, okay? Before, if I were to come all the way back, before my middle back hits the mat, my low back is directing towards the mat. That's what you should be feeling. Here we go. Exhale down and hold. Hand up. And down. And up. And down. And up. Last one. And down. Good. All right. Some seated position exercises here. Uh, we're going to go into a it's a, what I call a modified um, a stomach massage, okay? So we haven't done an actual traditional stomach massage, so we'll start with a modified, which is a one foot or a one leg extension. So seated balance with our feet on the ground. So our feet are going to stay connected here. <clears throat> I am going to extend one leg. So this is what's going to happen with the leg. One leg is extended, the other leg stays connected. Okay, this is what happens with the legs. Now, the trunk, hands are gonna be underneath the thighs here. My trunk, when I'm starting in a scooped position, rounded position, head is down, hands underneath the thighs, elbows out, and I'm going to push my pelvis forward, my abdomen forward, as I flatten my back and raise my trunk up. See this, so I'm lifting my chest up and I'm coming back into a scoop position. So that occurs when I extend my leg up. So watch me. So I come up into this seated V position here and I come back into this round, okay? So let's practice this. We're gonna exhale as we lift. Come down, inhale, up, exhale, down, inhale, exhale, in, out. So I'm slightly leaning back if you notice, opening and slightly leaning back so I can feel that back flattening out. Do you feel that? One more. Good. Okay. Let's go ahead and extend both legs down. Legs stay together for our front stretch. So with spine stretch, our legs are separated, right? Parted. Front stretch, our legs are together. We're practicing the same movement. So arms outstretched, pitch forward over the top of the legs, flat back. We're gonna scoop and pull those arms inward towards the center. Immediately start to flatten back, posture here tall, and begin again. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Feel the stretch through the back of the legs, the glutes, the lower back starts to stretch. One more. Good. All right. 
from here, new exercise. This is called rolling like a ball. So we are going to roll on our spine right now. So make sure you have nice cushion underneath. If your mat is good and supportive, you're fine. If not, you can layer your mat. And so you just simply are going to fold your mat in half, okay? So if I were to do this, I'll do this with you if you need support. Maybe your mat is really thin, okay? And I'm going to just layer my mat. My mat is pretty thick, so it's a little bit awkward. However, I can still do this with a layered mat. So I'm gonna be rocking back on my mat, so I just wanna make sure I support. This is called rolling like a ball. So first stage, rolling like a ball looks like this. We're gonna go ahead and bring, lift our feet up off of the mat. So we have this seated balance position, right? On our tailbone here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my hands underneath my thighs, keeping my knees connected and my feet to get connected. I'm in this rounded position, so I'm scooped. And I'm not going to change the position of my legs or my arms or my trunk. So staying in this scooped position, watch me, chin to chest, I am going to rock back, roll back, and roll up. So notice I'm very balanced, and the reason for that is not only just practice, but I stay scooped, okay, and I don't change position. So when I roll back and I roll up, I really focus on the scooping and pressing my back down into the mat, engaging my core, okay? Here we go, ready, roll back, and up. So my head does not make contact with the floor. My feet do not make contact with the floor. And I stay scooped. So I'm not using my legs or my arms. I'm using my abdominal muscles. I'm using my core muscles. Rolling like a ball. This will morph into a different exercise as we go as well. Let's go one more. Good. All right. You can put your mat back the way it was if you folded it. And we're going to go into an exercise leaning back. So we've done this lean back, right? We're going to come back onto our elbows. So go ahead and come back. And I'm going to bring <clears throat> one knee in and keep the other foot grounded. Okay. So remember when we are leaning back on our elbows, we want to lift our rib cage up. Okay. So that our back is flat. And I'm going to extend one leg out. So I'm going to do a knee pull leg lift. So it's two moves in one, <clears throat> staying on one leg. So I'm going to pull my knee in, extend my leg out, lift my leg up, keeping my rib cage elevated. Knee pull. I should be able to put my fists underneath my back. And there is a gap there, right? Space there. Breathing. Strong leg. One more. Good. Let's switch legs. Knee pull. Leg lift. come forward. We're going to go into what's called saw. So legs are open like our spine stretch. <clears throat> so saw, um, we are actually going to spend some time with some active stretching here. 
okay? Stretching for the hamstrings through the glutes and the lower back. However, it's a diagonal stretch. So you'll notice that we're twisting. And so the really important part of the saw when we're twisting is to slow it down. There's no speed involved here. And also that when we are lowering and when we are lifting to try and maintain our posture, okay? It's because it is a strength move. We're pulling our trunk up in this flat back position. So we wanna make sure that we do this slowly. All right, so legs are open, arms are outstretched, strong posture here from the hips up. Pulling my abdominals in, I'm engaged here, right? I'm going to twist in one direction, maintaining this posture, this line. I'm going to lean forward, see if I can connect my abdomen to my thigh. Feel the stretch. Come back up top, back to center, twist the other direction slowly, lower, lift, back to center, twist the other side. So notice I maintain my posture through the move, breathing. easy it's challenging right trying to focus and concentrate on the correct movement correct alignment good back to center go ahead and bring your legs together so rowing exercise I believe we've done this before rowing exercise so legs are together we are simulating the rowing right the position arms are outstretched hands are interlocked I'm going to collapse my spine and lean back as I pull my hands towards the center, only going back as far as I know I can get back up comfortably. When I start to lean forward, I let go of my hands and start to reach back. And then I'm gonna sweep my arms around outside to the center, and I'm in this full front stretch here. Gather my hands, come center again, Start again, collapse and lean back. So that scooping occurs when we lean back, right? It's like that roll down hold here. And then we, we are when we are over the top of our legs, that's that big stretch forward. And that great combination, dynamic, stretching and strengthening move. I love this exercise. Last one. Good, all right. Go ahead, knee hug. Uh, we're gonna turn over for our back exercises, okay? So let's go ahead and turn over to our tummies. Today we're gonna practice what's called Superman hold. <clears throat> so with Superman hold, we're lifting arms and legs up off the mat and we're holding that position, okay? So you find a comfortable position with your arms. You can keep your elbows bent or you can keep them straight. It's up to you. But what's happening is my arms are going to lift up and my legs are going to lift up at the same time. And I'm going to hold at the top and then I'm going to lower. Now, when we lift our legs, we wanna try and get our knees up off the mats, legs are straight, and we're pressing our pelvis down into the mat, tightening the glutes and exhaling. Keep your head in a neutral neckline position. So looking down at the mat, here we go. We're gonna lift and hold. Exhale. Come down, inhale. Up, exhale. Down, inhale, up, exhale, inhale, down, up, down, one more time, up, and down, good. 
Bring your hands outside your chest. Push up, keep your knees down. Come back into low back stretch. Hips down. All right, so we're gonna come up into table position, hands and knees on the ground. We're gonna do some dog kicks and we're just in level one um, dog kick position. So any time that we are in table position, we wanna practice pulling our abdominals right up and in and holding them there so we can help stabilize our back, okay? Keeping our hips in alignment that just simply means I'm not arching my back or pulling my hips back. I'm keeping my hips, pelvis slightly tucked under, but keeping my hips directly over my knees, okay? So engage your core here. So right arm, left leg, I am simply going to extend. So I'm extending or reaching out. See this? I'm not lifting, I'm just reaching out with my right arm and my left leg. Back to neutral, left arm, right leg, making sure our abdominals are pulled up and in and holding there, breathing. We're gonna alternate, nice and slow on the extension. So it's opposite arm, opposite leg. This will morph into something different, a little level two very soon. But right now, just focusing on the muscle groups and what's happening here, okay? Last one each side. All right, kneeling tall, hip thrust. We've done these already. So what's happening here is our hips come back. Remember this, hips come back, our trunk slightly tilts forward, keeping our back stabilized and flat. Weight is back here on our hips, our arms are forward. And then we pull them, hips forward, tightening the glutes, Abdominals are pulled in, arms come back. Here we go. Consistent breathing. Go one more of these. Good. All right, staying kneeling tall. Go ahead and bring your knees a little bit closer together. We're gonna practice mermaid in a kneeling tall position, okay? So my arms are going to be outstretched and I'm simply going to sweep my arms, side bend over the top, come back down, sweep over the top, other side, side bend. So you can press this arm against the thigh to actively pull the sweeping arm over the top. You feel that? So it increases your range of motion, your stretch line through the side. Staying tall, abdominals are pulled in, engaged, breathing. Glutes are engaged. Strong posture. Good. All right, we're gonna come down to our side. Two exercises down here, one lower body, one upper body. So come all the way down, hands behind, or hand behind the neck here. We're gonna go ahead and bring the other hand down in front of our pelvis here. We're gonna do what's called line bicycle. So 
my top leg is going to do the work. I'm going to elevate it slightly. Now pressing this hip, this bottom that's connected to the mat down, I'm going to pull the knee in and forward, extend my leg out, pull that straight leg back to start. All right, so abdominals are in, hip is pressed down, breathing, pull the knee in and forward, leg out and back. Again, no speed, we're slowing it down. Pace is slow and controlled. Nice and strong through the leg. Remember, creating resistance. One more. Good, leg down. All right. Side push up. Hand is out in front. This arm is all the way down. Head is resting on this arm here. This hand, you're going to find a comfortable position for this hand to do a side push up, okay? So whether or not it's closer to you or farther out away from you, just find the range that works for you. This is what's happening. I'm pressing this hand down and I'm pushing up, hopefully, on this other hand here. And then I'm going to come back down to start. So it's a side push up. Let's see if we can do this together. Ready? Exhale, lift and push. And when I say lift, that means that I'm engaging my core and I'm pulling myself up as well as pushing and pressing my hip down. Let's try that again. Ready? Exhale. And down. So a lot is helping you do this, right? A lot of muscle groups working here. Muscle groups here. Muscle groups here, okay? Muscle groups here. Here we go, ready? If you can only come up to your elbow with this arm, that's fine. It's wherever you are right now. One more. Push up and stay at the top. And let's switch legs, bicycles, all the way down, hand out in front, and go ahead and begin, pull in, out, and back. Create resistance here, strong hips, strong legs. down, arm down, head down, hand out in front, side push up, ready, and go. Strong core, press, and pull. Exhale as you pull up, press up. Go one more, finish at the top. Good. Seated position, knee hug. Let's center ourselves here. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go through this entire cycle again. <clears throat> we're going to see if we can double up some exercises. Okay? So, However you feel, if you need to rest, go ahead and rest. It's no big deal. Um, but try to get right back into it um, if you're resting, okay? All right, so we're going to try layering or doubling up our first two exercises. And so that's the single leg traditional, followed by the double leg with that outward arm sweep, okay? So not quite traditional, a little bit modified. 
So I'll let you know when we're going to transition. So go ahead and come on down. Bring your knees with you. All right, here we go. Let's start with single leg. Gentle pull on the knee. Scooping. Chin to chest. After this one, we're going to go into double leg. No, both knees in. And sweep up and down. And up and down. And up and down. Control your breathing. Let's go one more. And head down. Feet down. Arms down. Good. Okay. Different arm sweep for our bridge this second time through. This is what's going to happen. I'm going to sweep up towards the ceiling and come down. So hips and arms come up vertically. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Exhale up. And down. And up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down. Good. All right, let's go into crisscross by itself. Knees in, head and shoulders up. Hands behind your neck, and go ahead and begin. Rotate, keeping that upper back off the mat. Slowing it down so we are balanced and centered. No speed here. One more. Head down, feet down. Nice. All right, single straight, one leg at a time, and then we'll go right into our double straight, okay? All right, one leg up, head and shoulders up, chin to chest, scooping, single straight pull. There we go. Strong leg. down, foot down, other leg up, head up, begin. One more. down, both legs up, head and shoulders up, hands behind your neck, double straight, scooping, slow it down, exhale as you lower, Go one more. Good. Feet down. Head down. Go ahead and bring those feet out away from you a little bit. Roll up holds. Here we go. Up. And down. down, up, 
Turn down. Up. And down. Go ahead and roll to your side. Push yourselves up. Roll down holds. Collapse your spine or back here and lean back. Up and back. Up and back. Okay, modified stomach massage. So single leg stomach massage here. All right. <clears throat> Hands under thighs. We're going to go single leg. Start in the rounded position. And extend one leg. And just sit up tall posture. Lean back slightly. Close it in. Other leg. as you lift. One more each side. stretch. Legs out together, arms up, stretch forward. One more. like a ball. So if you need to layer your double your mat, go ahead and do so now. I'm not going to do it this time. I don't need it. Go ahead and bend your knees. You're going to bring your hands underneath your thighs. We're going to go into this seated balance position here. Get into this rounded position here. Head is down. Remember, engage <clears throat> those abdominals and roll back. So Scooping will allow you to control your pace coming back up to a seated tall position. If I really focus on pressing my back down into the mat, you should feel how you can control how slow you go when you come up to a seated balance. All right, if you need to go ahead and put your mat back to its original position, you can. We're gonna lean back on our elbows. One leg work at a time. Lifting the abdomen up. Knee pull, leg lift. Here we go. Strong leg. Breathing. Switch legs. Here we go. In, out, up, down. Good. All right. Lean 
forward. Lift your legs. So I don't know if you noticed, but when we're doing most of these exercises, I would say over 90% of these exercises, um, opposing muscle groups are working uh, simultaneously. So at the same time, we have, I don't really feel like there's ever any muscle groups that are checking out, right? Not working, not assisting. Um, especially when we're using opposition or diagonal movement. Uh, so it's really cool that even though maybe the movement is in the leg or the movement is in the trunk, we're still using or activating the opposite muscle groups. So that's really cool about synchronized opposition. Okay, arms outstretched, let's go into our saw. Twist, lean forward. Again, very controlled. Maintain posture. Breathe. So with each dip or lowering or pitching forward, you should feel a little limbering happening, right? We're limbering up a little bit, a little more stretch, release from those muscles. One more. Good, back to center. Legs together. All right, we have our rowing exercise. Legs together, arms outstretched, collapse the spine. Go ahead and begin. Breathing consistently through the move. Connect that low back to the mat if you can. Big stretch over the top. Last one here. All right, knee hug. Release the pack. All right, we're gonna turn over for our back exercises at this point. Hopefully you're feeling good, feeling strong. Go ahead and turn over for Superman holds. All right, here we go. Exhaling as we lift. Press the pelvis down, tighten the glutes. Inhale on the way down. All right, low back stretch. Push up and back. So we're gonna go into those dog kicks, but today they're just reaching outer extension. So table position. Remember our neutral pelvis. Hips over, knees, slight tucking, abdominals engaged. Here we go, right and left, and back. Trunk stays still, still, but it is working, right? Even though the arms and the legs are doing the work. Opposite leg. Last 
Let's come on to each side. Kneeling tall. Hip thrusts. Part your knees a little bit. Here we go. Hips back, arms forward. Last one. Stay up tall. Bring your knees closer together. Core is engaged, right? Mermaid. Side bend. more each side. Come on down for line bicycles and side push-ups. We're going to reverse the direction this time. Hand out front. So we're going to kick straight leg out or actually extend. We're not kicking. Extend forward. Bend the knee, extend the leg down the line of the other opposite leg, back to start. All right, straight leg, bend, extend. Strong leg, <clears throat> create resistance, press that hip down into the mat. Breathe, abdominals pulled in. So even though the leg's doing the work, my abdomen is engaged, my hips are engaged. All right, all the way down. Side push-up. Here we go. Press that hip down, tighten the glutes, pull the abs in, press down, exhale up. Here we go, up. Let's go one more, finish at the top, and switch. All the way down. Reverse direction, bicycles, leg out, bend the knee, extend. Strong leg. down, head down, hand out in front, side push-up. Last one. Finish at the top. Okay. Seated. <clears throat> All right, we're going to finish with accordions and arm work. Hands on knees. And we're just letting the back go and coming up tall.
legs extended. Today, we're gonna to practice arm crosses. So what that means is sitting up tall, arms are outstretched to our sides. We're gonna bring our arms forward and hand over hand. We're gonna pulse, bring them back, and then we'll switch levels. Left over right, right over left, see that? Now, while we're doing this, Strong posture, strong arms create resistance. Here we go, ready? Right over left, left over right. Breathing. One more. Okay, one more exercise. We're gonna bring our arms out in front, palms facing down, and from here, I'm going to pull my elbows back to my sides, okay? So trying to keep them as high as chest height here, I'm squeezing my upper back. So this is a lot of scapular work here. So sitting up tall, I'm gonna bring my hands out in front, pull back, exhale, squeeze, the back, squeeze those shoulder blades towards each other, right? One more. All right, stretch forward, bring one arm across the legs diagonally. Other arm. Both arms. Sit up tall, bring one leg across the other leg, pull this knee in, outer hip stretch, glute stretch. <clears throat> Switch legs. <clears throat> All right, you guys, so we are done with session two of the week. Two more to go. Uh, hopefully you feel really good about what you've done, the work that you've done, and uh, you're looking forward to the next one. So nice job, we'll see you next time.